Hello friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon. And today I'm going to walk you through how to play the Tiny Tim version of Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Last week I did a lesson on the original 1929 Nick Lucas version of this tune, which I enjoy playing quite a bit more, but let's be honest with each other. This is the version that we all know and love or hate. But before we dive into it, I just want to say a big thank you to Gwendolyn for singing this song so that I didn't have to. You should check out all of her wonderful ukulele songs. But also, we should note that she has a ukulele murder mystery musical opening in New York later this month, and I will link below as to how you can check that out. Let's get started. A couple housekeeping items before we dive into the meats and potatoes of this tutorial. If you want to play with the original recording by Tiny Tim, it is in the key of E. And if you've been playing uke for more than 10 minutes, you probably realize that we don't play an E very often. It's not a key that lays out very well on the instrument. And Tiny Tim didn't play it in E either. He played it out of F position, but took his entire uke and tuned it down a half step to B sixth tuning. We're gonna be in C6 standard tuning here, but just know if you want to play along with that original recording, you'll have to tune all of your strings down one half step. Now let's talk about the strumming pattern. If you've watched my channel before, you probably know that I don't believe in strumming patterns. And I'll link to my video here on how you can just figure them out for yourself, understand rhythm, and never watch a section of a video like this ever again. But that said, there is a consistent rhythm throughout this song, and it sounds something like this. So what is it? It's one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Or we would strum that as down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. You can use that for the entire song. There are slight variations throughout. He strums a little bit differently when there's two chords, sometimes just to facilitate the chord change, so I'm not going to worry about it. You can really strum it any way that you darn well choose. Now let's look at the chords. Now, Tiny Tim vastly simplified the chord progression used in the original Nick Lucas version, and quite frankly, it sounds pretty darn good. So as I mentioned, we're playing in the key of F here. So we're starting out on an F major chord, two open, one open, playing that for one measure of four beats, and then going to a C seventh chord, open, 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 one. Back to F for two beats, and then we're gonna put down our ring finger on the third fret of the C string, giving us an F seventh, we're adding an E flat to that F chord, which leads our ear to B flat, three, two, one, one, to B flat minor, three, one, one, one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't play B flat. I don't like the chord. And there's a reason for it. It's not just because it's a pain to play, but when we're playing this on high G, I'm doubling that B flat on the outer strings, and it's, unnecessary. So there's a couple options here. What I think Tiny Tim did the vast majority of the time was just mute the G string and then B flat minor because you're playing the entire chord on the upper three strings. You don't need that G. What I prefer to do is play the original changes to the tune which is B flat sixth to B flat minor sixth. Even if you're not familiar with these tunes, all that we're doing is we're taking a B flat chord and a B flat minor chord and adding a G to it. And what's G? It's our open string. So you play open two, one, one, to open one, one, one. And this is what I usually play, and it sounds great. And on top of that, it's much easier to play. So give that a shot, and feel free to use those sixth chords, or to just mute the G string, or if you want, you can play the full B flat chord. All of them are correct. There are always options as to how we can play chords. From there, it goes back to F, Back to C7, each a bar a piece, four beats, and then our turnaround is one, four, one, five. F, B flat, or B flat six, these are each two beats a piece. F to C7. Right? And our A4 repeats twice as we go through. So let's play it through twice now. And I'll call out the chords the first time and the second time. I will shut my mouth and we'll just strum it. Goes like this. Two, three, four. F seventh, B flat, B flat minor, F, C seventh, F, B flat, F, C seventh, back to F. And that 
last chord is different. We're going to play an F7 at the second ending here because we're leading on to the bridge. So let's look at our bridge section. This video has been brought to you by the Tin Man's Magic Ukulele Strings, the only ukulele strings made from real stardust. Tiny Tim does something fun with the bridge. He does what's actually in the original sheet music, which is go to the four chord, go to a B flat. Remember that our F seventh tends to lead us to a B flat, where most other versions of the tune go to the sixth chord. They go to a minor chord or a G minor chord here. Either works just fine with the melody, and Tiny Tim does the B flat. So we start out on a B flat chord. You can still use your B flat sixth here. It's absolutely fine, and it's what's used in the melody. It's cool. So we can play that chord for two measures. And then it goes down to A minor, two open, open, open for one measure. And to D for one measure. And note when I go from A minor to D, I'm keeping this middle finger down and building the D chord around it, still not using the first finger. That makes this transition a little bit easier because it goes right back to A minor after that measure. There's no need to lift up that one finger. So our first little bit of the bridge sounds like this. Back to A minor for two measures. Then goes G7 to C7. Let's try that bridge together, it's not so bad. One, two, three, four, B flat. A minor. A minor, G7, and C7. Very good. Now, I promised at the beginning of this that I'd show you that fun part at the end, so let's look at that. At the very end of this tune, the uke actually drops out for a few measures and the orchestra takes over. And it's this beautiful descending line that sounds like this. Right, and we can do that on you, so why not do it? Now, all the chords that we're playing here, we have played in the tune. It's F, F7, B flat 6th, B flat minor 6th, F, C7, F. But to get this descending line on the A string, we're going to have to use different voicings of the chords or play the same notes in a different position on the instrument. So to start out with our F major chord, it'll be 5, 5, 5, 8. Right, but you can see, just our C major chord slid on up. And we're descending down on the A string, so this five 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 eight. We're bringing this down to an E flat, the sixth fret, giving us an F seventh chord. Five 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 six, right? Just like that. Two beats a piece. You get B flat six, which is now going to be open five six five. And we're walking down another half step to a D flat here. This is giving us a B flat minor sixth, open five six four. And then we land on an F major chord but we have a C in the melody, the third fret of our A string. So regular old F major with our C here. So here's our first few bars. Then we rest, two, two, two. And our last little lick there is we're going C, E, F. So C is the eighth fret of our E string. E is the seventh fret of our A string. F is the eighth fret, and if you want, you can do the little bass note at the end here. So what happens on the recording. I usually just end on an F sixth chord straight across the fifth fret. So let's let's try this little walk down together. Two, three, four. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like a sheet to accompany this with all the chords and the lyrics, please join me over on Patreon where we've also done a deep dive into the Nick Lucas arrangement of this song. I'll see you all next week.